Welcome back to the most comprehensive guide on the Headhunter on YouTube currently. I've used this gun exclusively for two years and I've hit Radiant by only using this gun. Um, if you are looking for further evidence, you can look at any of my videos or streams or montages. I'm sure you find plenty of evidence there. I've posted another guide in the past on the basic characteristics and some texts you can do with the gun. If you're looking for a more introductory experience, I recommend going over that video first because this video assumes that you know all about it. There's a couple of things you have to consider before taking a fight uh, with the Headhunter. Now, obviously, you can't really control your fights all the time. Sometimes you're forced in close range combat or really uncomfortable positions or forced on a retake where you have no control. That's just how it is. But when you do have control, for example, on defense, setting up for fights or on offense, peeking into angles, there's a couple of things you really need to consider it. First thing you consider is, is this angle a long angle? Because long angles nullifies all of the advantages of the rifle and plays into your strength instead. The advantages of having a rifle over a headhunter is that it's able to fire multiple times in quick succession. However, at long ranges, rifle users are forced to tap or burst. They're not able to spray at you, which loses one of their biggest strength over you, as they basically have to tap the same way that you do, and the better aimer will come out on top. However, you have an advantage that they don't. You have a big scope with a 1.5 times zoom, which means that you can turn these really uncomfortable fights for rifle users where they can barely hit your head or even see your head at all into pretty easy aim duels where you simply click on a relatively large target. The second thing to consider is the verticality of the terrain of which you fight upon. It is very important to fight on flat ground, which means that the entire angle from you to them should be on the same uh, elevation. A terrible example of this would be showers on A. Uh, for unbind. For example, if you are to peak showers, he can be either on top of the elevated platform or below the platform, which makes holding incredibly difficult as you always have to either gamble for one of them or flick from top to bottom, which is a very difficult micro adjustment. Hitting vertical micro adjustments and flicks are much more difficult than hitting horizontal ones, and it's already difficult enough to hit consistent horizontal adjustments on a running target, let alone also adding in a vertical one, which makes it damn near impossible. So it's important to play in angles where it's completely flat. For example, on Ceylon, on uh, Haven, or A Main on Lotus, or you know B Lawn uh, from Lawn Entrance to Backside or to Cubby on Bind, all angles where it's perfectly flat and you can position your crosshair at an angle, at a headshot angle, where you don't have to move it vertically at all, and you just have to focus on the horizontal flicks and when to click. By isolating the motions, it's much easier to hit ahead. Now, you might ask, isn't it easier for them to hit you as well? However, at these long angles, it will still make it it will still be quite difficult for rifle users to insta headshot you, especially if you're holding angles correctly and moving while you're holding. I also have another video on this as well. But playing at a angle which has a different elevation to the enemy, essentially uh, even if they swing the same angle, like they swing the same choke point, uh, the enemy's head will be at different positions because you are not no longer looking them flat. You are basically standing on a box and looking down on them or looking up at them. Either way, it's really bad because then you can no longer find a formu like a f formulaic or like a uniform head uh, headshot level where you can hold, and you have to readjust every single time you see somebody because they will not they will swing at either close to the wall or far away from the wall, and their headshot level will be completely different, which makes your shots incredibly difficult as you have to adjust both vertically and horizontally. It's all about a trade-off. So it's about trading between the ease of which you hit them in the head versus the ease, ease of which they hit you in the head. So it's really important that you are able to hit your first shot because the headhunter resets relatively slowly. So after you miss the first shot, you actually give them plenty of time for them to readjust their aim and hit you in the head with a random burst or random spray out of sheer luck or out of scale. Regardless, like it's really hard to aim afterwards as well as the gun kind of bounces around and it's no longer clear as to where the center of their crosshair is. Another factor to consider is, does your cover provide anti-flash? So an example of this would be, for example, playing on top of the uh, A-stairs box on Lotus. So although this is technically a better angle, as it's an off angle, uh, when Sky, and Skies do, uh, will flash A main, right? When Skies flash A main or flash broken door, you will 100% be flashed or be forced to turn away. Either way, if you're forced to turn away, you're forced to TP out as to not get shot, or you will die there. And if you're 100% flashed, you will also be forced to TP out and die there. So a seemingly good angle will not work. 
the headhunter takes quite a while to deploy as in order to pull it out and then to scope in, you're basically not very mobile, so there's not a lot of things you can do to dodge a flash. And also, since you need a perfect crosshair placement to hit a one-tap, it takes quite a while for you to set up the crosshair placement, so it's best to not move your mouse a lot after you set it up. So a much better option will be to hold the angle ADS and then hide behind the box, and then peek out of the box after the flash has hit. This way, you no longer have to adjust your mouse. You're still taking a long angle fight, and then this angle is flat where all their heads are, you know, on a uniform level, so you don't have to adjust it vertically. And since you're not flash, you don't have to move your mouse at all. You can just peek out after the flash hits, and then get some easy kills like I do. A very strong playstyle is what is called the peekaboo playstyle. So essentially, you wait out the enemy utility, and you wait for them to kind of make some space, and then you cl you scope in and you close peek into them. The strength of this is that. On normal guns, it wouldn't work because normal guns, uh, the amount of uh, picture on your screen is too small since without a scope, it's hard to tell where you're shooting at. So sometimes you're forced to white swing. However, when on a headhunter, when you ADS, most likely, uh, without you don't have to peek very far to see pretty much um, the whole picture. You know, you, you kind of you can make out a lot of angles and exactly where the enemy's head is without peeking too wide into uh, like uncharted territory. This way, you're able to get a quick peek, either for information, often for a kill, on unsuspecting enemies and TP away very quickly. By just standing out in the open, Y holding like me or like Ye, is not really as viable because that just requires you have really good aim and really good crosshair placement, and it requires you to one tap five people who are full running at you. It's much easier to hide and catch someone off guard as they're moving forwards or standing still, and just shoot them and TP away. Uh, than to hold wide and hold for like a five-man push or something. A really good player who does it is Forsaken. So if you need to look for some resources on how to do that, I think uh, Forsaken and his streams on playing chamber is really valuable for learning how to peekaboo properly. But this is how most players play it. It's the best and it's safe. Remember, when playing with a headhunter, it is very important to take your time with your shots. You don't have to rush them or make them quick. Okay, just make sure that your shots are on target before you shoot. It's very important. If you're feeling like that you're getting overwhelmed constantly, you're probably not holding wide enough. If you hold wide enough, you should have more enough time to slowly place your crosshair on the enemy or wait for them to walk in before you simply tap and kill them. That pretty much wraps it up for me. Um, I might make another guide on some other more obscene tech or whatever, but this is mostly what goes over my head before I take a fight and how I approach fights with the headhunter, which in my opinion is the most important decision you can make in a game.